Welcome to Albaum Translation Services. This is Sandra Albaum. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Zoom to use interpretation services. The very first thing that you need to do is to confirm that you have the interpretation module in your Zoom account. So you'll sign in. And let's go check. Under Settings, In Meeting Advanced, if you scroll down, if you have the module, you'll see it says here language interpretation, and mine is on, enabled. And there are some languages here. If I don't see the language that I happen to need for this particular meeting, I can always add it. And it will show up right here. So once you've confirmed that you actually have the, the ability to use language interpretation in your account, go to meetings and set up your meeting. set up my fake meeting for today at four o'clock for an hour. Under meeting ID, you must choose generate automatically. Do not select personal meeting ID. Personal meeting IDs are not compatible with the interpretation function. Please always select generate automatically. You can select a passcode or waiting room, enable your video. And then under options, there is an option here to approve or block entry to users from specific regions and countries. Please do not select this. Our interpreters and our account managers live all over the world, and if you uh, block entry, they may not be able to get in and do their jobs. Finally, at the bottom, you click Enable Language Interpretation. And here is where you're going to add the emails of the interpreters that we have given you for your event. Today I'm going to add Eliana, she's one of our account managers and will be playing the part of the interpreter. And I'm going to say that she is an English to Spanish interpreter. If you have a second one, you can add one here. You can add as many as you need, in as many language combinations as you need. And when you're done, click Save. Zoom is going to kick out an invitation to Eliana right now that has a specific link to her for an interpreter. Uh, as an interpreter, and she'll be able to basically jump the waiting room, jump the line, she's a VIP, she'll get into the meeting early uh, and won't be relegated to the waiting room. Here is all the information, and we are ready to go. In the second video, I will show you how to designate the interpreter once we are actually in the meeting. See you in a bit.